What's going on everyone? Garnet Waltz is here again and I'd like to thank you for checking out today's video. I mean, if you have subscribed, I'd like to thank you for, for subscribing. It really means a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, please press the subscribe button and press on the bell so you know when a new video comes out. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about multi-practicing. And multi-practicing is when you work on one thing, but there's many other byproducts that you get from working on that one thing. So for example, I have this thing where I have a key for the day, but it's not like your typical key of the day. So for example, I'm going to use the key of C. So I would practice the key of C. Like this is the major scale. But I wouldn't just limit it to the major scale. So what I would do is I would just make C my key center. So what I would do is I would find any kind of scale or mode that has the note C in it. So for example, I played the C major scale. So I'm going to play uh, C Dorian mode, which is technically the key of B flat. Then I'll play C Frigid, which is the key of A flat. Then I'll play C Lydian, which is the key of G, uh, C Miss Lydian, which is the key of F. Uh, now we'll go C Natural Minor, or C Aeolian, which is an E flat major. Then I will play C Locrian. D flat. So I would work on these modes and these scales, and I wouldn't just limit it to that either. What I would do is I would also remember what each mode feels like or what emotion it brings out. So I would think about the chords that come from that mode. For example, if I have C major. That would be, you know, C major scale. Then if I went to C Dorian, if I went to C Phrygian, if I went to C Lydian, again, these are all based on the the scales that I'm playing. So C Lydian, for example, would be G major. And then C minor again, which would be C Aeolian. Now I would include the notes in there that don't make sense, quote unquote, just because I want to know what options I have. So I would do this with all my scales. And again, this is just a major scale. I haven't even hit the melodic minor scale. I haven't even done the harmonic minor scale. I haven't done pentatonics or the diminished scales. Another thing that I like to do when it comes to multi-practicing is I would run these modes and run these chords and stuff by just trying to solo over it. So for example, I would do something like this. I would play chord my left hand based on the chord that I based on the scale that I'm playing but I will kind of just solo over that chord for like a bar or two and then I will go to the next mode so I will go C major C minor C Dorian then C Phrygian then C Lydian then C Mixolydian C Aeolian or C natural minor and then end off with C Locrian. So this is what I will come up with.
and it took a lot for me to get all of that stuff out. I had to practice all of that stuff slowly, which leads to my next point, which is when you're multi-practicing with all this stuff, not only am I getting, you know, the technique together, learning the notes and stuff, and not only am I getting the chords together, but I'm also learning what notes are related to one another. So if I practice the C major scale, and I just worked on that, only C major will be familiar. However, since C is my key center, I start to figure out what notes are related, what keys are related to the key of C. So for example, C Dorian, again, it's B flat major. And then C Phrygian. So that's A flat. So once I start to know that C is in all those different scales, I can never forget that relationship. So I can go there because I know that the C's in common with all those scales. So I hope that this video was really helpful and I hope that it sparked some ideas. Um, if you have any ideas or, or something that you've been practicing, please feel free to you write something in the comments. You know, I wanna learn from you guys as well. You know, we're a community. We wanna, you know, help each other get better. So again, if you have any practicing ideas or you have something that you're working on, Again, to put it in the comments, or you can just, you know, send me an email or something. I have all my information in the description. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing what you what you guys got.